Well, Happy New Year, everyone. And how are those New Year's resolutions coming along? Are you still resolute? Well, this is Mental Fitness Fridays. I'm Larry McInnes, and you are awesome. Now, if you are like 100 million other adults in the U.S., you made a New Year's resolution. And I didn't pull that 100 million out of, out of the air. That Somebody actually counted the people who, who do this. Anyway, if you made a New Year's resolution, you're probably feeling pretty good, uh, pretty confident that you were going to lose weight or become more fit or get into meditation or improve your financial situation. All worthy resolutions. But of the 100 million adults who make these New Year's resolutions, 25 million will drop out in about... Three, two, one, and they're gone. Yeah, uh, so a quarter of the people who make New Year's resolutions will give up within a week. And by the end of January, only 20% are still holding on to those resolutions. And by summer, we're down to 10, just like last year. And the year before that, and the year before that. Now. I get it. So I've been there too. I was one of millions of people who forgot why they made the resolution in the first place. You know, I lost my mojo. What started out as a exciting prospect became basically drudgery. And it was just one more goal that I failed to reach. And my judge, my saboteur, took total advantage of that as he did Last year, the year before that, year before that, year before that. And the message is, you failed again, loser. It's really, it's kind of stressful and it's really depressing. And not just for me or for you, but for millions of people. Now, I actually haven't made resolutions for quite a while. But still, it's kind of hard to uh, move into a new year without wanting to improve on the last one somehow. So instead of resolutions, I make themes. And instead of resolving to say, lose 25 pounds by March, I have a theme that I wanna have a high quality life until the day I die. And an important part of that theme is managing my weight. So resolutions can be, well, by nature are a very, goal oriented and that is the exact opposite of a theme so and here's here's why i have decided to move into this theme building and out of the resolution uh so one resolutions use up willpower you know we have every intention to follow through with our resolutions and these resolutions are usually pretty good the problem isn't with the resolutions the problem is with willpower that drives that resolution. So willpower isn't infinite. For most people, willpower gets used up by the end of January. Staying excited about going to the gym every day gets harder and harder, as I bet you know. And when the willpower gets used up, our saboteurs swoop in and send us the messages that we're somehow weak or unworthy or something like that. The saboteurs are lying to us. The second thing is resolutions don't really highlight what's important. Yeah, physical fitness is important and mental well-being is important, but going to the gym and meditation are just too easy to put off until tomorrow. So creating a theme on how you want to live your life puts a twist on that. So create a theme and then do the next thing that's important to you. And that could be going to the gym or it might be taking a break or maybe it's even taking a nap, but it's probably not going to be watching reruns of Friends. Now, the third reason why I stopped doing resolutions are, I've already hinted on this, Resolutions are saboteur bait. Now, since New Year's resolutions are basically 
yearly to-do lists, there's just too much time to keep track of. And when you do lose track, and you will, and you forget your resolution, the saboteurs come in, take advantage of that, and cause you even more disappointment in yourself. And that's unnecessary mental pain. Now, I'm not saying to do nothing. I am saying that I found that by using themes in my life, I'm more likely to do what's important to me and to my family and to my friends and so on. I think by watching these videos that I've been putting out, you can see that my themes involve physical and emotional and mental and spiritual health. And that means I get to sleep well, eat well, take morning hikes, uh, be around people I enjoy, be creative, and be grateful every day. So make a list of themes. And when you do that, you'll be taking power away from your saboteurs who are trying to make you run in circles. And instead, uh, you build up an intuition of what the next thing is that you should be doing. And that's your sage speaking to you. So have fun making your list of themes. I will see you next week at this time on Mental Fitness Fridays. Happy New Year.